Hi everyone. So today we're gonna do another Simpsonized Stranger Things character. And guess what we're doing today? We're doing Dusty from Stranger Things. So I'm getting this all sketched out. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Comment, like, and share. If you have, I want to hear your thoughts on this piece. I'm gonna be using some Posca markers and some Alpha 6 acrylic paint markers. So I'm using some white acrylic paint so I can fill in the eyes and um, the areas of, of the front of his hat just because it has a lot more white and I'm running out of the white paint markers. So I'm gonna get a palette right now, get some of this paint going, pour in this paint, get a nice paintbrush. Now we're gonna start painting in this area of his hat, his eyes, and his teeth. I didn't notice, but I'm running out of the, the white Posca, and I have the Alpha 6 acrylic paint marker, but as I said, I was having issues with the paint marker, um, and it has to do with the paper. This is a yellow colored paper, but it's not the same one that I've been using in my recent videos. This is actually the cardstock version. The one that I normally use that's yellow, the paper, um, it's like a computer paper, but it absorbs the ink really well. Because it's made for like prints and um, flyers and images. And um, so the, the paper has a way to absorb. And the marker does not bleed through. But as you can see here, I had it, you know, the paper was just tearing up with the, the Posca marker. Um, and even worse with the Alpha Critic paint marker. And as I said, this is not a fault of the marker. It's just the paper. These are just tools. The markers work fine. It's just with this paper, it was really bad. So I probably won't be using this colored paper anymore. The cardstock, the the standard paper, yes, that's colored, but not this cardstock. It just tears up. It gets really wet, as you can see there. Um, look at that. The, the nibs all just collecting all that. And then I had an issue with this paint marker, where as I said in the Hopper video, tried it again today the ink just waterfalls on the side of the nib as you can see here it doesn't saturate and then when i'm painting with the nib it just comes out dry so i don't know if the ink is dry inside of the nib but you see i gave up and decided to come in with a darker tone of brown for his pants as i did with hopper but i wanted to have more of a khaki color but it is what it is we're going to keep moving and even with that, it was this nib was also tearing up the paper you can see on the video. So I once let it dry, I hit it a few other times and um, scraped the, the the paper that's all torn up with my with my finger. So I'm gonna come in and fill in his shoes with some of this gray. And I'm coming in with the white. But as you can see, you see the white. I would have to do like eight passes to get coverage. And it's just because I ran out of them both. So that's the reason why I use the acrylic paint. So I'm coming back in with that that dark tan. As you can see, now it's starting to cover the second time. Some of the paper you can see is tearing up there. But um, well, like I said, I'm just going to scrape that off at the end. Coming in here, building up some of this blue and the aqua on the shirt so I, can, so I don't have any yellow showing through. So here we go. We got Dusty from Stranger Things. So once I lay all these colors down and I start putting in the line work, it's going to really pop. And it'll, it'll hide a lot of the issues with the paper. <laughs> here I am coming in, you know, just scraping off um, and hitting it with one final pass. Because once it dries, as you can see, um, it'll all blend in together. Doing his arm, doing his hands now. Coming in with his ballpoint to build his mouth and his facial features. I was going to use a Posca, but since this um, page is a lot smaller, it's not 11 by 14, it's 8 by 10. Um, if I use a thick marker, it would just look too thick. So I built his face up with the ballpoint, and everything else was with the Posca marker. So I can have them nice, bold corner lines. 
coming here, just doing some touch-ups, building his eye. I actually was having issues with this ballpark. I think I'm running out of ink, so I grabbed my other pen. And um, when I grabbed this pen, my technical pen, it was also out of ink. So I gave up on that. And um, I tried to finish it up with um, the ballpoint, with whatever was left in there. But I felt like I, it was scraping the paper. So now I'm going to come in with the uh, bold lines. So now this piece is going to start to pop. The bill on his hat, start doing his hair. Here we go. We got Dusty coming to life. Simpsonized. So I'm, I'm having a lot of fun creating these Simpsonized um, Stranger Things characters. So I'm thinking about doing... I don't know which character I'm going to do next, but I want to do it with the Ghostbusters outfit. I think that's going to be pretty cool. And they dressed up for Halloween. Some of you guys remember they dressed up as the Ghostbuster, so that's gonna be my next concept. Um, I'm just liking the way these are coming out. Here we go, just doing racing these areas. I have some pencil lines so it can start to pop. Put in some more red here, get that nice and bright. And there you go, dusty, Stranger Things. What makes it really stand out is, is his teeth. Just coming in here doing those final passes just so it can be nice and clean and uniform. And once I built those last final layers, I didn't have issues with the paper tearing up. That's just when I'm doing those first passes. But it's due to the paper, as I said. So here it is, all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Dusty from Stranger Things.